Hello and welcome again to Friday Wrap for August 4th. I'm Mayor Mickey. I don't know if you had a chance to see the concert last week. Uh, unfortunately, I missed it. But it was Miss Tess and the Talkbacks. Uh, she came all the way from Nashville. Uh, she's doing on a Midwest tour. Uh, I heard it was very, very good. But tonight, we have a special, uh, special opportunity for everybody. It's only once per year. Uh, we get a chance to watch a Burr Ridge band play in Burr Ridge, led by our own uh, Lisa Marcello. Uh, Reckless is the, is the name of her band. Uh, if you like rock and roll, be sure to stop by and maybe even have a chance to see uh, Dr. Frank, uh, her husband, which I'm sure many of you already know. Uh, you know, in the previous Friday wrap, I missed a sharing a very significant, sad uh, story about a tragic airplane crash uh, that killed one of uh, Burridge's residents and a very popular uh, air show pilot uh, named Vlado Lenick. Uh, I wish I could have been there, uh, but according to friends, uh, the funeral line uh, was took two hours uh, to, uh, to have a chance to have pay, pay the last respects, uh, and that uh, and that his his death was a quote unquote very significant loss to the aviation community. You know, our thoughts and prayers uh, are, go out to him, uh, as well as to to Vlado's family and three children, as well as to his passenger, uh, Miss uh, Bethany Root a 34-year-old manager uh, of the Amelia Earhart Airport from which the flight originated, uh, who was just expecting to go on a quick flight to, on this very special plane uh, with a P-51 Mustang, they called it, uh, World War II, uh, and, and with a very legendary pilot, uh, one of the very few in the country actually qualified and skilled enough to fly it. Uh, but the uh, cause of, the, of that crash is still under investigation. Also this week, we had a, a fire in Burr Ridge, probably only the second, uh, uh, second or third one of its kind the last uh, three or four years, a very, very destructive fire of a house in the, six, the 6700 block of Fieldstone on Fieldstone Drive. Uh, there was a, it was shortly after a storm burst through Burr Ridge with, with some, some thunder and lightning. Uh, the, a, a neighbor noticed that the, the, the roof of one of the houses had started on fire uh, and uh, it destroyed pretty much the entire second floor uh, and water damage, of course, the entire house. Uh, unfortunately, a newly remodeled home. Uh, I believe it was the Kagan family. Uh, the cause of that fire is still under investigation, but lightning is suspected to have hit the roof as well as knock out the circuit breaker on the entire electrical system of the house. Uh, this past uh, Sunday, uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see the Run for Veterans. It was a great, great event. Uh, according to the uh, organizer, Pauline Ozels, they had 165 participants this year, which is about the same as last year. Uh, they also attracted a lot of runners from many counties across Illinois, as well as runners from, uh, let's see, I believe it was uh, Oklahoma, uh, Texas, Missouri, and Colorado. Uh, they were featured on the 93.9 My FM, as well as a, uh, a post uh, post race on Fox News 32. Uh, it was very successful, and according to Paul uh, Pauline, uh, they were uh, it was about 50/50 uh, male female attendees, and the average age of 36. But hopefully, we have even better attendance for next year. So for the fifth annual one, hopefully it'll be an even bigger event uh, in 2018. You know, uh, did you know that the first uh, office building that was built in the Corporate Park law firm was that of, uh, I'm sorry, Cor Cor Corporate Park was that of a law firm, probably Burridge's first law firm itself, uh, called Gold Goldstein, Skrotsky, Russian, Nemec, and Hoff. That's why it was a, it was a real an honor, an honor and a pleasure to uh, this week uh, have lunch with its founder, uh, Robert Goldstein, and also have a tour of the building and meet so many of their, their, their partners. It was a pretty be over there and it was a real pleasure. Uh, this week we also had a, a Chamber of Commerce meeting, uh, a lunch uh, over at uh, Five Seasons, the uh, Willowbrook Bridge Chamber of Commerce. And it was actually the first time that our new village administrator got to go there in that role. And he had a chance to be introduced as well as to uh, make some comments uh, and to show his support for this very important organization uh, for our local businesses. Uh, also, this week was an executive, uh, I'm sorry, the, the uh, exclusive uh, waste hauler uh, uh, group industries. It was their first week, and it overall went very, very well. Uh, change is always very difficult. The two of the things I'm going to have the most difficult time working with is uh, remembering is that you're not allowed to use plastic bags uh, to throw the recyclables in. Uh, I guess that, that was the rule uh, with our previous uh, waste hauler, but they didn't enforce it. Uh, but, the, but the group wants you to uh, not, not use that, just put it in the receptacle itself. And also to keep the, uh, the receptacles at least 10 feet away from the mailbox. We used to put it right next to it. And they, but, but Groot, uh, in an effort to be efficient, wanted to, and when possible, to use mechanical equipment, uh, the arm from the waste hauler to actually empty the garbage itself. 
Uh, so that's a little bit of a change, but you know, overall went very well, and we're uh, that's gone gone successfully. Uh, this week, uh, Burr Ridge had a visitor from Rome. Uh, it was uh, and we, it seemed only fitting uh, because it was the second time he came over to visit, and and uh, I had a chance to spend the afternoon with an old friend, Father uh, Andre Lasana. Uh, it seemed only fitting to have lunch again uh, at Capri, and that we did. It was a pleasure to see him again, and hopefully he'll be back in back in two more years. Uh, also, I want to mention two things. Uh, the, there was kind of neat, the, uh, is, I call it a capital and two coincidences. My wife and I, uh, last weekend, went to Madison, Wisconsin, uh, to the actual Wisconsin State Capitol, and it was kind of neat. We, had, we actually had two coincidences happen there. One was I was able to, I ran into the old uh, security guide on the observation deck of the Capitol, uh, the same one that I ran into five years ago during my 50 Capitals trip. And while up there, we ran into a Burridge resident. Uh, Laura uh, Mulvena, who I, I actually had mentioned uh, in a previous uh, previous Friday wrap. That was a, quite a coincidence. Well, once again, thank you for joining me. Uh, have a great week, uh, great weekend, a great week, and we'll see you again next week.